It is December 8th, 2022, and you're watching The Code Report. I've been trying to warn you about this for years. Artificial intelligence is coming to replace programmers. Over the last few days, the world has been freaking out over ChatGPT, a new demo from OpenAI that can write and analyze code, among many other things. The tool itself is very impressive, but it's not going to replace programmers. It can really only solve trivial problems like GitHub Copilot, and often it provides answers that are just flat out wrong, but look correct to someone without the proper domain knowledge. It's already been banned by Stack Overflow because the site has been flooded with people posting AI answers on topics they know nothing about. More than anything, I think ChatGPT is an existential threat to tools like Google and Stack Overflow because it's a much faster way to get answers to basic programming problems. What's crazy though is that this is just a general purpose tool. It's not even designed for programming specifically. Now just imagine what will happen when this technology is focused on replacing programmers. Here's how I think it might play out over the next few years. First, AI will start to take over as the decision maker on your actual machine. Machine. Microsoft has already developed Codex CLI to bring AI to the command line. Instead of learning Linux, in the near future, you should be able to just tell AI what you want, and it will run all the necessary commands for you automatically. That technology is essentially already here. What I expect to happen next is that AI will start to build out entire projects for you based on the requirements that you give it. Kind of like test-driven development, where all you do is write some basic testing code, then AI installs all the packages, creates all the files, and writes all the code for you. It'll be able to run the app itself find any errors and correct them. Eventually it will get so good that you don't even have to worry about the code it writes. And this will lead to a whole new class of artificial development environments. Copilot has already been very successful, but it's just the beginning of this brave new world. For front-end development, I would expect these tools to look kind of like Figma, but with extra controls to make everything interconnected and interactive to work on any app platform. On the back end, we might have something that looks like a diagram or flowchart that describes a bunch of API endpoints or microservices. Now all of this will be integrated into a single environment, allowing the AI to infer the database models and resources needed to execute the project, and not just make it work, but also optimize it in every way imaginable. In a matter of seconds, it could generate the project in multiple different languages with multiple different frameworks to figure out which one performs the best. Actually, no. It. it could create its own brand new JavaScript framework that is perfectly optimized for your requirements. Actually, no, why would we even need JavaScript at that point? Programming languages are just for dumb monkeys. AI will be able to write a raw executable straight from machine code. It can come up with its own perfectly optimized compiler on the fly, then write comprehensive documentation about it in any language. Ultimately, what I think this might lead to is a universal AI-driven programming language, a single deterministic language that turns every human into a coding god. By simply describing your vision, the AI we'll figure out how to arrange the ones and zeros to make it a reality. In fact, when we get our neural links, we won't even have to write anything down, we can just think it, and it will appear. Now, I realize Neuralink has killed almost all the monkeys and pigs that have tried it, but when they open up human trials in six months, I'm gonna be first in line. This language will be so undeniably powerful that virtually everything else in the world becomes obsolete overnight. The world will still need engineers to solve problems, but writing code will not be one of their responsibilities. It'll become an esoteric skill that only weirdos take the time to learn, kind of like celestial navigation. I for one, think this is an awesome outcome. Writing code is just a means to an end. The reason I learned to write code in the first place was because I wanted to build cool stuff. If AI can help me build cool stuff faster without the need to learn a new JavaScript framework every week, then I will gladly bend the knee. On second thought though, it's very possible that none of this will ever happen. I wouldn't be surprised at all if we're still writing JavaScript and C++ code 50 years from now. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.